Guys, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. To celebrate, I'm doing a £50 gift card giveaway. All you've got to do to enter is like this video and subscribe. Hey guys, Jay Spartan here. In this video, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step detailed guide on how to complete the first peaks of time. So, Ranhorn's Strife is the first peaks of time. So if we click on, well for you it will say start adventure, so if you click here. Now the, the, the idea of this is to 100% it by completing all of these battles here uh, and at the end you get a nice artifact which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, and these battles increase in difficulty as you go, as you progress through it, with the hardest one being a team of 95 leveled uh, undead heroes or graveborn heroes sorry so obviously this one we have to do first because the other ones just stay out of reach so you complete this one here first so choose what you know your, your preferred team and then start the battle and as you complete battles you unlock relics and you can use those relics to strengthen your team so the first level really easy then we get to choose a relic so if you get really lucky, you do have the chance to get the Moonstone and the Sunstone. And with their combined abilities, if you get both of these, you've basically won the game. So I'm going to go with the Moonstone, just because if I do happen to get the Sunstone as well, I'm basically unbeatable. So we're going to choose the Moonstone. And the next one we have to do is this one here, so we can't get past it until we do. So we're going to be using the same team again. I'm going to try and save my hero's ultimates until I actually need to use them. So I'm going to save those until I get to a battle where I think, right, it's getting too hard now. I need to start using my ultimates. So once again, you get another choice of relics. Um, my, my heroes are more than capable of completing this without the relics. I'm just going to be choosing any random one. Um, but when you guys do this, there's going to be certain relics that you want more than others. Um, and if you like, I can make a video on all of the best relics to go for in uh, the peaks of time. So now you get to this point here, and usually in the labyrinth you have to choose one or the other. In the peaks of time you can actually choose both. So I don't need to use the fountain yet because all my heroes are pretty much full health. So I'm going to save that until I actually need to use it. So I'm just going to pick a random hero here to take with me. I'm going to choose rain. And then as you progress, what you want to do now is pick the level that has the lowest level heroes. Because then you can get another relic and then, that, and then that will help you beat the other guys. So this one here is the lowest, I believe. Yeah, so this one here. So we're going to go for this one. I'm going to use the same team again because my heroes are still at full health. And I've got no reason to swap them out. So I'll let this play through. And there we go, and now we get another relic to choose as well. I'm just going to pick a random one. And now we've got the level 90 and the level 90 as well. So it doesn't really matter which one I go for. Obviously, if I was struggling, I would go for this one at the top so that I could get another hero as well. Um, so I'm just going to go for this one here. Let it play through. And basically guys, once you complete all of the battles, you unlock the boss battle and you have to do the boss battle to uh, actually get the artifact. So I'll do this one here now so I can get another relic to strengthen my team. Let it play through. And obviously at this point you guys might be struggling if you've got low level heroes. So it may be worth now using the fountain uh, if you are struggling. So now I get to choose another hero to help aid me. So I'm just going to pick a random hero. We'll take Kaz. We'll get a relic here. So don't forget to uh, use your relics, guys, because they will help you defeat this. So now we get to this point here. 
uh, like I said, in the labyrinth, you can either go for a battle or you can pick something to help you progress. In Peaks of Time, you get both. So if you had lost a hero, you could then use a Shrine of Life to bring somebody back. Uh, but I haven't got any dead heroes yet, so it's pointless me using it. So we'll play through this again. Let it play through. And there we go. Then you get a little text that comes up. I'm just going to skip through that. Pick a random relic, but you guys will want to be careful in the one that you choose. We'll do the next battle. There we go. And now we have reached the boss battle. So this will be the hardest one that you come across. Um, by this point you may want to use your fountain, you may want to use your shrine of life and you may want to use the uh, heroes you've got from the camps. So we're going to do the chief and we're going to have a go now. Uh, my team has gone from 160,000 to 254,000 just from the help of relics. So that just shows the relics can really help strengthen your team. And because it's the boss battle, I'm just going to go all out and use all my ultimates and hopefully just smash it. And there we go. So that there is the first peaks of time. And then you get a relic for some unknown reason. I'm just going to choose a random one. And that is now that complete. So you'll have that 100% now. And what you get is this artifact here, Jorah's Grace. I recommend putting this on one of your tanks. If you've got Brutus, pull it on him because he is the best hero equipped for this artifact. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Leave a comment down below to let me know how you're getting on with these um, peaks of times. I actually completed the first two in my live stream. I had help from some of my subscribers. And then we're going to do, be doing three and four in the next live stream. See you next time guys and have a good night.